Christians. And Democrats. <laughs> Just because Jesus denied he is our God in Mark 10, 17 to 18, doesn't give America the right to. On the way over, already in a touchy mood, he asked, does America mention me anywhere? No, she does not, I told him, not even once. Not in the Declaration of Independence, not in the Constitution, or any of the 27 amendments. Frankly, Jesus thought it came across as a bit deliberate. He became so upset, he asked me to take the wheel back onto that heavenly highway that leads finally to being a Christian nation, a nation not ashamed to tell the world it is in Jesus, not God, not Zenu, not Oprah, but Jesus whom we trust. And House Bill 316, before you will stamp those very words on our nation's currency. Finally, Jesus and the one thing he asks of us most, our cash will be united by congressional decree. Glory! We're going to put his name on all the many dollars we withhold from the poor. The statutory hierarchizing all religions in America law, or more simply, Sharia law. The Sharia law will redress the insult Jesus has endured since our nation's founding. And the one I received moments ago as I walked into this very chamber. No, <coughs> oh, it wasn't Pelosi. It was that sign etched into marble, goading all true Christians in God we trust. God? Calling your God? God is like calling your dog a dog. It shows an appalling lack of imagination and specificity. God, a generic noun for every false deity from Allah to Zeus. God, not even Yahweh, and certainly not Jesus. Good luck finding that on anything in this Beltway Babylon. A great theologian once asked if I could sum up all of Christianity in 10 words. I laughed did it in eight. Flatter Jesus or he'll torture you in hell. Hallelujah. Well, it's too late for the founding fathers. Right now, they're all being sodomized by demons. <coughs> Calm down, Senator Graham. The rest of you have this last chance at redemption, for there is only one way you can mollify notoriously insecure Jesus. Pass the Sharia law. The Sharia law demands that all of America's evasive in some God we trust mottos, whether on coins, bills, courtroom walls, or license plates, be changed to the more unequivocal, in Jesus we trust. Otherwise, how can we call ourselves a Christian nation? It's not as if people will know from how any of you act.